LeBron James goes off on Wizards announcer. LeBron James spoke on his tweet blasting Washington Wizards announcer Glenn Consor for his terrible call of Houston Rockets player Kevin Porter Jr.'s game-winning basket during Los Angeles Lakers practice on Thursday. What a well-designed play, and um, you got to give credit. Kevin Porter Jr., like his dad, pulled that trigger right at the right time. Boy, that one stung. Porter's father was a man named Brian Kevin Porter Sr., who was fatally shot in 2004. In 1993, Porter Sr. pleaded guilty to manslaughter for a shooting that took the life of a teenage girl. In his attempt to offer an apology and explanation, Consor said he thought Porter Jr. was the son of Kevin Porter, who played for the Bullets in the 1970s and 1980s. On Thursday, LeBron expressed his displeasure at Consor's slip-up. I stand by my tweet and I stand by everything I said if I'm a play-by-play -play announcer and I'm covering my local team. In his case, he's covering the Wizards, so he remembers the Kevin Porter who used to play for the Bullets, correct? The first thing I would have done, I would have said, oh, Kevin Porter Jr. is coming into town. Let me see if that's his son. I watched the whole game. Not at one point did he ever reference who he thought was Kevin Porter Sr. At any point, I would have looked at Kevin Porter Jr. and said, Oh, let me see if this is his dad that played for the Bullets in the 70s. What he said, no matter if he thought that was his dad or not, was so insensitive and the words he used. We know the words that he used, I don't want even want to repeat it, is not even something that should ever be said. We're going to continue to protect our players. They said he's supposed to be a very smart guy, right? If you're a very smart guy, I believe you should be able to do your homework on situations. The kid, Kevin Porter Jr., has already been placed with the label in this league that sends that he used, no matter if he knew if that was his dad or not, should have never been used in the first place. If you go and you look, and you know the history of this kid's dad, you can't sit here and tell me that those words. It's just a direct correlation. I can't let that ride on the behalf of a kid who looks up to me. Kevin Porter Jr. looks up to me, and it's my obligation to make sure that he knows that I have his back. LeBron did not call for Consor to lose his job, as Consor is not his employee, unlike the 104 to 5 people who work at Spring Hill. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like button and share the video. If you are new to our channel, please subscribe to our channel Lakers Inside for more insights of Los Angeles Lakers.